Hi, I'm Pastor Steve, and welcome to Ignite TV. What an awesome show we have prepared for you today. Let me tell you, my friends, open up your heart to the power of Jesus Christ. He is real, and what you're about to feel is real. We are going to go to our Sunday morning service, singing a song called Forever and Spirit Break Out. And in the middle of the service of this worship, I'm going to have some words of knowledge in the service, and they're going to be for you at home as well. I want you to, to be as if you're there. The Lord is going to make it so that you feel the anointing that we felt on Sunday. You are going to feel right where you are watching this. He is going to come to you, God Almighty is going to come to you and meet you right where you are. I'm telling you, my friends, let your walls down and open your heart to Jesus Christ because he wants to minister to you today. His angels want to minister. He's going to use his angels to minister to you. He is mighty and awesome. I want to welcome those who are watching on Friday night at 11 p.m. This is only our second show on Friday night. Praise the Lord. And as well, our wonderful viewers on Sunday morning at 11.30. So good to see you again. Please call in at any time. The number is on the screen. We have people waiting to take your call. They are live by the phones right now, prayed up and fired up and ready to pray with you and go to God, our Father, with a mighty anointing. Whatever request you have, whether it's financial or physical or emotional relationship, you need to give your life to Jesus. You're backslidden and you need to come back to Jesus. I know someone you've just turned me on and you got to our channel and you're backslidden. I want you to call that number right now and we will pray with you and get you back with Jesus in full peace and joy. Joy comes from the Lord and peace comes from Jesus Christ. It's called the peace. In the book of Philippians, he said, the peace that passes understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And you, you who are watching, there's more than one of you, you are watching and you are away from God. You've walked away, you've backed off from the love of Jesus and your own life. He still loves you, he's reaching out, but you don't feel it. I'm telling you, reconnect with Jesus during this television broadcast because there is a mighty anointing to bring you back right now. When you watch us and this worship as we're singing, and I give the altar call to the church, that I'm, my church, I'm giving it to you. And as you're watching and you feel the presence of God, I'm telling you, give us a call. The phone number's on the screen. There are people waiting by the phone right now to answer your call for any need you have. But I'm talking to people who are backslidden, especially right now. We have people waiting to pray with you that will lead you back to Jesus. I know you can do it all on your own. If you need to just right there where you are, bow your head and pray and ask the Lord Jesus back into your life. You can do it right now. But if you need some help, we're here for you. So don't hesitate to give us a call. I want to start this off with prayer. And we're going to go right to that footage from Sunday morning. I'm telling you, my friends, let your walls down. Open your heart to Jesus Christ. There is a mighty wave of his spirit coming through that television set his anointing is coming forth. I believe with all my heart. I know it because I've already been a part of the service. I know what's coming, and it is powerful. Father, in Jesus' name, open up the hearts of everyone watching that the powerful anointing of the Holy Spirit from Jesus Christ come forth. Your love, Jesus, go forth and draw us into your presence. I feel your anointing right now in the studio. Let it go right through that camera and into the people's homes. Mighty power of Jesus Christ. Through your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Listen, one more time. Open your heart to the presence of God. He is mighty and able to save you. If you have prayer for any need at all, physical, financial, whatever it is, or you need to reconnect with Jesus, you're backslidden, or you've never met him, and right now you want to make him your Lord and Savior, call that number on the screen. We have people waiting to take that call right now. We're going right to our Sunday morning service. We're going to be singing a song called Forever. It's an amazing song. And then the Lord is going to break through in your life. Just watch. The moon and stars, they wept. The morning sun was dead. The 
Savior of the world was falling. His body on the cross, his blood poured out for us, the weight of every curse upon him. Come on, lift your hands. Let's sing hallelujah. Lift your hands and we're going to ask for the glory of God to come down in this place right now. Let your power and your glory fall in this room, Lord. Hallelujah. Let it fall. Let it fall. Glory of the Father. God the Father. We sing hallelujah. Come on, let's praise Him. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory of God. Glory of God. Glory of God. Shalamasitoloma kandalabasitalabakite. In the name of Jesus. We sing hallelujah. 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 We sing hallelujah. Lamb has overcome. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. 
Listen, I'm telling you, God's blessing is going to come down in this room on your life. Some of you came in, you felt cursed. That curse is going to leave. You've come in this room, you felt oppressed. That oppression is going to leave in just one minute. In the name of Jesus, we are going to sing a song, Spirit, break out, break our walls down. I want you in this room, lift your hands right now. I'm telling you, the angels are going to give you a high five right now if you lift your hands. Praise the Lord. You can keep them down. That's your business. But I'm telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let your angels minister. I know they are. I know they are. Let them in this room. There's many of them. There's multitudes of God's presence here. There's multitudes of his angels. The power of God move. Hallelujah. Give each one with their hands raised a high five, a mighty breakthrough. Come on. There's someone here. You need deliverance from a substance. Raise your hand with everybody. Your hand's already raised. I'm telling you, God will touch you right now. Hallelujah. I can't touch every one of you this morning. That's why we are raising our hands right now. God touch everyone in this room right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Touch them mightily. Angels, you are here to minister. The Bible says in Hebrews 1, they are here to minister to us. Hallelujah. So minister, minister your work. Mighty power of God. I'm telling you right now, someone feels the power of God in their body and you are being healed. You need to, in faith, believe and say, in, Amen, in the name of Jesus. You are being healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Raise your hand. Hallelujah. Be made whole. Praise the Lord. You can physically feel God ministering to you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Folks, you came to a church that's on fire, a living church and a living God and a living word. Hallelujah. He is alive. He is dynamic. He is touching right now. He will touch you and heal you right now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People watching at home streaming in the name of Jesus. Touch. Touch at home. Touch on television in the name of Jesus Christ. Go forth. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song. God is breaking your walls down. Hallelujah. He's breaking your walls down. Let them down. Listen, you have a will. Let your walls down. Let it down. There's no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, quote from the King James Version. In the name of Jesus. There's some, some of you here, there's a number of you here, you feel like you've been slipping back. You've got, got some grace from God, you've got some anointing from the Lord, you felt you got closer, and you're slipping back. Listen, in the name of Jesus. No temptation. He's, he's going to make a way to escape. It cannot take a hold of you. The power of God here today. Praise the Lord. The power of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shalamanda sito talamakando basita la makanda basite. Siko lonomashando lo basite. Siko lonomasite. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory of God. What you feel is the presence of the Lord. He is here. God is real. When he shows up, you can feel his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what you feel. Just open to him. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise the Lord. Jehovah, the God of the Bible. Praise the Lord. 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 Spirit break out. Open your heart right now to Jesus Christ. Break our walls down. Spirit, break out. Heaven, come down. Spirit, break out. Break our walls. 
mighty anointing of the Lord Jesus. Let's bring this bring just to the strings. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for your holy love to fill this room right now. The strong love of Jesus Christ in here. I want you to know, people, Jesus Christ loves you. No matter what you've done, I don't care what you did last night. I care what you're going to do today. God will forgive you. God will heal you. Jesus did not come to condemn you, John 3 says. He did not come to condemn. He did not come to live perfect and then say, see what you could be and you're not. He did not start calling you names. Even on the cross, he saved a thief right beside him on a cross. Jesus did not deserve to be on the cross. The guy beside him did. And he forgave him and said, today you'll be with me in paradise. I know some of you feel guilt, condemnation. You feel bad for things in your life. Today it will drop off. You're like a hot air balloon and you're grounded because there's sandbags, but God is going to cut the sandbags today and you're going to take off. And you say, but I don't even know much about religion. Me either. Hallelujah. I know Jesus Christ crucified. He loves you. He rose again. He went to heaven, sent the Holy Spirit, and he will cut the sandbags off of your hot air balloon today. Today. Praise the Lord. If you're in this room and you're away from the Lord, you need to reconnect. You need him to take that weight off your life. You need to have your sins forgiven. You need to be brought back into his fellowship and love. Or maybe for the first time. I want to pray with you right where you are. I want you to raise your hand right now. You say, I need Jesus to forgive me. Take me into his family. Make me his again. Anybody at all, raise your hand right where you are. And we're going to pray. Yep, I see your hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a powerful time in the presence of the Lord, that moment we had on Sunday morning. And I'm so glad to bring you in and be a part of it, that we were able to have the technology to film it and share it with you. And I want to talk to you right to your heart. Listen, if you were away from the Lord, what was happening Sunday morning when people's hands were raising? I was saying, if you're here and you need Jesus, raise your hand. People were raising their hands. You can't see it. We gave them their privacy with the cameras, and the camera just stayed tight on the stage. People were raising their hands and giving their lives to Jesus Christ, reconnecting with him. Some were backslidden. And we even baptized two people in water who were, didn't even know they were going to get baptized in water, two young boys. And they just gave their life to Jesus and got in the tub, praise the Lord, the baptismal pool. And so God is so, so good. I can't show that to you, all right? I don't have time. But what I want you to do right now is to consider where your heart is and your life with God. Do a self-examination in your heart with the Lord. And if you are away from the Lord, you can pray right now where you are. And you can say, Jesus, I believe in you. Make me your child. Take my sins away. And hey, even better, if you'd like, call that number on the screen. We have people waiting by the phone live right now. No matter what time you're watching this program, as we air it, we, we man the phones. And so we will pray with you and help you. There is a special anointing going out for healing right now. I, I, I know in the name of Jesus, the healing power of God is flowing. You felt it during those songs. Some of you had faith arise in you during those songs and what I was saying during that service, let that manifestation of faith well up in you and speak in the name of Jesus to the problem in your body. People are having issues in, in their stomach. I know you're being healed in the name of Jesus. Some, someone's watching at 1130 at night, late at night on Friday, and God's healing your stomach. Give us a call and we'll pray with you right now. Now listen, our phones are open for a half hour after this telecast goes off. And we'll be there manning the phones for a half hour late. So please write that number down right now and give us a call when the show's over. It's almost over. We have one more song we're going to sing called This is Amazing Grace. 
And you know what? It's an upbeat psalm. We just want to celebrate what God has done during this program. I want to read one scripture to you. It says in John 3, 17, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus did not come to condemn you. He came to lift you up, to uphold you in his hands, to save you, to give you freedom and victory. Now I pray in the name of Jesus that that freedom go forth, touch every request that's been coming in. In Jesus' name, blessing, O God. Your blessing go out. In the name of Jesus, we receive from your power, your your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the holder with holy thunder? Who leaves us breathless in awe and wonder? The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. I sing for all that you've done for me. Oh, Jesus, who brings our chaos back into order, who makes the orphan a son and daughter, the king of glory, the king above all kings. Rules the nations with truth and justice, shines like the sun and all of his brilliance. The king of glory, the king above all kings. This is amazing grace, this is unfailing love, that you would take my place. You took my place, Lord. You would bear my cross. You laid down your life that I would be set free. Are you free tonight? Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. the lamb who was slain worthy is the king who conquered the grave worthy is the lamb who was slain worthy is the king who conquers the grave worthy is the lamb who was slain worthy is the king who conquers the grave worthy is the lamb who was slain you're worthy worthy Worthy, oh, this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. You lay down your life. That I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I see. you've done for me Jesus I'm free because of you Lord I'll just give him some praise tonight thank you Jesus you are worthy Lord it's only because of you Jesus hi I'm pastor Steve lead pastor of Lighthouse Christian Fellowship I'm here on our beautiful campus 
And I want to invite you to come and worship with us Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. We have an awesome children's ministry, dynamic worship, anointed sermons, and we're just four miles south of the northeast extension of the Pennsylvania Turnpike at the Quaker Town exit. Come and enjoy the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit and powerful gospel message. If you're looking for a church, come and worship with us. We'd love to see you this Sunday. Ignite TV is a ministry of Lighthouse Christian Fellowship, 2788 Garyville Pike, Pennsburg, PA, 18073. To contact us for prayer or more information, call us at 215-679-4482 or check us out online at ignitetv.org. You can also write us at Ignite TV, 2788 Garyville Pike, Pennsburg, PA, 18073. If you would like to help financially support this ministry, you can call, correspond by mail, or go to ignitetv.org.